The School of Science and Engineering at St. Louis University was created uh, for the formation of an opportunity for students to have a convergent research experience. It allows them to be in one field and learn from another to solve complex problems in society. The legacy of the, the Parks College is actually pretty interesting. An airplane enthusiast, Oliver L. Parks, suffered an incredible accident and, and the Jesuits took care of him. And giving thanks to the Jesuits for sort of bringing him back to life, he donated his business, which was essentially an airplane training program to university, and that became known as Parks College. It has a, an extraordinary history of, of training all of those who are working in the airline industry to uh, NASA, and it's created this interesting legacy from which we draw from every single day. What makes the School of Science and Engineering unique is that it took programs in aviation and engineering and combine them with physical sciences to create an interesting opportunity for students to have an amazing experience that sort of brings all of those divergent fields together for them to be successful in industry. The School of Science and Engineering are preparing the students for workforce in different ways. We ensure that they have all the uh, knowledge that they need when they go out into the field, but also we ensure that they have soft skills. They don't only practice problems from the textbook, they will expand that knowledge and apply it to something physical, something that they produce at the end. In our department, we have multiple labs where the students can actually work and develop projects. They can do research with the directors of those labs. We have the Mechatrim lab, we have the uh, aircraft lab, where they actually build uh, airplanes and they test them. We have students actually going to make a presentation in one conference where they are actually gonna fly their airplane. What I love about being a student in the School of Science and Engineering is a chance to collaborate with other majors, such as for our case, the biomedical engineers and the electrical engineers do our senior design together. The point of the project is that you have an electrical engineer that has a technical background, but then the biomedical engineers that have a healthcare background will coming together to help solve a problem. In our case, we're creating like a feeding tube testing system. I'm involved in this program called the Foundational Interdisciplinary Research Experience, where I work with a professor on a research project that we kind of establish deadlines on. So it's a really neat project because I get to get experience working with the professor on research and research goals, but also kind of set my own timeline. And um, actually, I just got published. It's been a really great opportunity to go from uh, starting from scratch to having a published paper getting sent and, and accepted in, at a conference. Research in the School of Science and Engineering stretches across disciplines with the goal of impacting and addressing some of the world's biggest challenges. Research in my lab really focuses at the intersection of people and technology, and we're particularly interested in thinking about assistive or accessible technologies. One of the projects is Inclusio, that's a National Science Foundation Convergence Accelerator project. The goal of the project is really about bringing multiple stakeholders together. So academic researchers, industry leaders, commercial partners, practitioners, educators, and the community of individuals with blindness and low vision to address one of the biggest challenges, which is access to information. The key in what we do, and a lot of what the research that's happening in the School of Science and Engineering is about, is about the community. Because while we can develop the technologies, the adoption, the ideation, and whether or not it's a success is driven by the community. So some of the opportunities that are available to me here at SLU that a lot of my friends that are in other programs don't have are the one-on-one -on -one time with professors, the professors know my name, uh, the research opportunities that are here. I've been working in a lab since my first week of my freshman year. I'm in a Boeing mentorship program, so I get to have one-on-one -on -one meetings with uh, engineers that are working at Boeing right now, working on you know the newest projects, and they can tell me as much as they can about what they do, and then I can talk to them about what I'm doing at school, and I get to work on small-scale aircrafts with with other students, graduate students, PhD students, and uh, work alongside my academic advisor. There's um, a lot of things here that I get to do that I know a lot of other people don't get to. 
I have had all four years here and it has been the best four years of my life. Um, I have gotten to participate in different research, different classes. I've gotten to make my best friends that I know I'll have even all the way to my retirement. It's because of the so many different opportunities that I had here at the School of Science and Engineering at SLU. It's because I was able to network and to be able to join so many different clubs and organizations that I'm graduating with a job now. Our students have the opportunity to really shape the vision of a research project. You can take a problem and there's lots of different ways that it could be solved. Students are able to experience all facets of the research process in working in our faculty labs. At St. Louis University in the School of Science and Engineering, we are committed to forging new opportunities and pathways for students. We're interested in pushing the envelope in scholarly research. We want to create opportunities for any student from any background to come to St. Louis and participate in our charge to do work for the greater good. Mm -hmm.